Here we are, getting ready for this showdown between these two fighters. Should be a good one. I'm Todd Grisham. Next to me, of course, is Johnny Nelson. It's action. It's action night. Time for our tale of the tape. The gentleman of boxing, Floyd. The gentleman of boxing, Floyd Patterson. He started his career. Deontay Wilder. He is the bronze bomber. Fight. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds. All the talking has been done. It's time to start doing the walking. Todd, I'm going to stay here till the end of the night until the last fight is out here. Because if you're a fight fan like me, this is what I live for. Good luck. And we're underway in round one. I don't think it's going to be a boxing match. This is going to be a fight. He misses with that jab. Nice counter. So much pre-match drama before this showdown. Who could forget what we saw yesterday at the weigh-in? These two boxers are finally ready to get it on. Todd, listen to them. Listen to them. You can, you can hear the noise, but you don't know what they're saying. It's that loud. I'm sorry, man. I'm shouting you here. I'm sorry. Perfect counter lands. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He parries that right jab away. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Counter punching. He just misses with that big right hand. Step back for just a moment. And a counter left. He threw the hook, didn't land. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Catch and shoot. Well, he is glad to have heard that bell. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're getting in a kitchen sink. Here we go. It's round two. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him, tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Good counter punching for both these athletes. Nice counter shot with the right hand. Neither fighter willing to slow down. Fails to score with that left hook. His jab just got blocked. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Keep an eye on this slugger. As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. Terrorized him into not wanting to throw a punch because they don't even see the shot leaving. That left counter was perfectly timed. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. And he misses with that jab. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. That 
bell could not have come soon enough for this guy. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it. This bell rings and we start the third. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's gonna come out and put the pressure on. He's gonna throw the kitchen sink at you. You gotta be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off, be smart, because he's gonna try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone, he knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. This fight is all about distance for this man, and you can see he's using that length advantage. Very smart, very sharp. This is a fit young man style that he's got to get inside that long loop. Not many fights can do that. He's got a massive reach advantage. Let's see if he uses it. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Neither man really defending themselves. Totally impressed. You know what? You got skill. You got. Oh my goodness. I admire these guys. That counter score. Boys to the left. Lands with the right counter. Just gets out of the way of that left hand. Both men step back for just a moment. Nice job landing that left counter punch. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Seemed like eternity for them finally comes to a close. Wow. You know, I've been in fights like that. When you think you and there's the bell to start round four. Not the start that they wanted, but let's see what they can do in this round. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab, rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. As it is in most heavyweight fights, don't blink because one big shot and this thing could be over. We've got a couple of big units here, so I'm expecting power. You're going to have excitement. You're going to have drum because when these guys slow down, that's when the punches are going to run. And he just missed with that left jab. Counter punching for both these fighters. These two are the perfect dance partners. He missed with that jab. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I gotta respect both of them more than nothing. Both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? Hard. We know one of these fighters can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. That's another scoring shot. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. From this moment forward, he cannot afford to lose another round. The bell, sometimes it couldn't be. And there's the bell for round five. It has been all one-way traffic. How do they turn this around? Big left there, but misses. The 
There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. He can't afford to make one single minor mistake. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you can't think thinking. You've just got to be smarter than them. You've got to be like a little fake with a big bucket in Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. It's all offense all the time. Good counter left hand there. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He parries away that left hook. He's box the hook. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. I've seen some fighters with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer, they are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punchers with a chin like a cusp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the dangerous part. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Left counterpunch will score. Well, this is the time that the trainer needs to come in and say something special. This fighter needs to turn the tables in this next round. You know, I've been in fights like that. When you think you come up the ring away, you walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. in the sixth round. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on there. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet. Not until your senses have come back. Neither man really defending themselves. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Both men step back for just a moment. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. Don't get trigger happy, because all of a sudden you're gonna be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot, and that's when they catch you. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect. Owen Patterson's dazed. to finish the show right now. Can he find? <laughs> and finally, Patterson succumbs to the pressure. One, two, three, four, five. So final 10 seconds of the round and he is looking really sharp. You've got to wonder how big of a factor that knockdown is going to be we just saw. I love the response, though. Got back up. Here we go. It's round seven. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. What a knockdown. You know in the corner now they're saying, when you get out there, jump on him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Bully him, throw him, push him down, punch him in the back. Keep letting the shots go because you know they're on shaky leg. They're a, a, a nuts here away from getting stopped. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here.
He blocks the right uppercut. There's a counter shot. They exchange punches. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those pointed areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them, skim and go for speed. These two are the perfect dance partners. Punch, counter punch. He misses with that jab. Patterson took that one in a bad way. Didn't wait long to get back and get engaged. Nice exchange here from both men. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. That was almost a 10-8 round. Complete dominance. Dominance without a doubt. Made it look so, so easy. And there's the bell for round eight. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. This fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go, and it's just bouncing off, and they're walking you down. Ooh. back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. Both men step back for just a moment. Come on, give these guys a chance. They're just trying to figure out how they're going to deal with it. Yes, they need to be offensive and defensive. He's just trying to figure out which puzzle. Patterson took that one in a bad way. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. When are we going to see a jab from these two? The final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. This next round is going to be crucial considering the knockdown we just witnessed. You're being put down. You've got to... Both fighters starting to get tired as we start round nine. We couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's got to hustle now. He's got to, he's got to bluff them. We hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system for a certain amount of punches per run. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again, and the fight will be over. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of the punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Oh, and Patterson's dazed.
He was in trouble for a while there. Looks like he's starting to get his power back. Just one punch away from turning his fortunes around. And that hook misses. for the weary. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. The game plan does not seem to be working here. What's he have to do differently? These Here's the bell for round 10. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Beautiful counter shot. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain then. man really defending themselves. This is some of the best action I've seen in any round anywhere this year. He got out of the way of that right hook. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. Some fighters are just gifted. Gifted with hand speed, footwork, movement. They are gifted. They are the chosen few. seconds of the round and he is looking really sharp it's not over till it's over but that knockdown is going to be huge I love the response though here we go in the championship rounds round 11 let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round Todd, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full battle because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. Oh, and Patterson's dazed. Time to go celebrate after another knockout win here. Well, there's no argument right there. Now that you say it, night-night. <laughs>